Hello everyone, I am Shwet Chaitanya, Oracle Trainer. In this video, I want to cover one interview question that is, what are the differences between truncate and delete? Interviewers may ask like this, truncate table EMP, if you write like this, it deletes all rows from EMP table. If you write delete from EMP or delete EMP, it also deletes all rows from EMP table. Then what are the differences? See here. So, SQL provides five sub languages to us. Among those five sub languages, truncate falls under which category? This truncate falls under DDL. Truncate is DDL command, whereas delete is DML command. This is DML command. Truncate is the DDL command, delete is the DML command. And using delete command, can we delete single record? Yes, we can delete single record. We can delete single record. Can we delete specific group of records like manager's records, department number 30 employees records? Can we delete specific group of records? Yes, we can delete specific group of records. Can we delete all records? Yes, we can delete all records also. So, these are the possibilities with delete command. Using delete command, we can delete single row or specific group of rows or all rows. Three possibilities are there. But using truncate command, only one possibility. We can delete all rows only. We cannot delete, we cannot delete one row or specific group of rows. These are not possible. Why? Why not possible? Because in delete command, we can use where class. In delete command, we can use where class. If you want to delete single record, we write like this, where employee number equals to so and so employee number. One record will be deleted. If you want to delete specific group of records, write like this, where job equals to manager, all manager rows will be deleted. So, because of we can use where class, we can delete one row or specific group of rows. But can we use where class in the truncate? No, not possible. So, where class can be used here, but whereas in truncate command, cannot cannot use where class. So, because of this reason, using truncate, we cannot delete single row or specific group of rows. If you want to delete specific rows, definitely where is required, but we cannot use where in the truncate. So, that is why we cannot delete single row or specific group of rows using truncate, but using delete, it is possible because we can use where class here. The next difference is, can we cancel this delete action? Can we cancel this delete action? Yes, it can be rolled back. Delete action can be rolled back. We can cancel the action. But can we cancel this truncate action? No, it cannot be rolled back. It cannot be rolled back. Delete action can be rolled back. But truncate action cannot be rolled back. Why? Because truncate is auto commit command. This truncate is auto commit command. It is auto committed. Truncate is auto commit command. So, when we use truncate command, the truncate command plus the truncate command plus commit command will be executed. If we use truncate command, the truncate command plus commit command will be executed. After commit, can we use a rollback? No. That is why we cannot roll back truncate action. But after delete, we can use rollback because delete is not auto commit command. So, we can use rollback. Next, next difference is in truncate and delete, which one works faster? Truncate is faster. 
whenever our requirement is deleting all rows with good performance, then only go for truncate. Otherwise, we never use it. Truncate has only one purpose. Whenever we want to delete all rows with good performance, then only go for truncate. So, when we compare truncate with delete, so truncate is faster and this delete is slower. Why? Because delete deletes row by row. Delete deletes row by row. First it deletes first row. Then it deletes next row. Then it deletes next row like that. Delete deletes row by row. But whereas truncate deletes block by block or you can say page. You can say page. Truncate deletes page by page or block by block. Our oracle data will be stored in the blocks. First it clears. First it clears first block. Then clears next block. Then clears next block. Inside of block records are there. Truncate deletes block by block. Whereas delete deletes row by row. That is why truncate is faster. Delete is slower. So these are the major differences between truncate and delete.